Hello there guys, it's the Pimp Wizard and welcome to episode 8 of our High Elves Let's Play Total War Warhammer 2. We are Techless and the Order of the Lore Masters and we're getting a fantastic amount of income just now. And, oh, did I move my wee woman down the bottom? No, I think. I think she's moving automatically, yeah. We'll go with campaign again, chunk of maps, line of sight and whatever this armour is. Armour of Kalidor. Ward save, fire resistance and physical resistance, nice. That can go in Tyrion, I think. So, Nagarond, I've got a black arc, which is a big boat. It helps him on the battlefield. I'm not sure exactly how. I think it's like a bombardment spell. Well, not a spell, but I think it like bombards an area. I've not actually used one or saw one yet. Oh, Kreis are destroyed. That's a shame. Oh, I hope I wasn't trading with them. And then all the high elves lying dead with arrows in them. Such a shame. Yeah, but yes, in the last part we tamed the Blood Island, the Blood Hall, sorry, and up here as Isle of the Crimson of the World. So let's see, where's Teclish? You're down here, pal. Have you got? Oh, you've got a special armor. Never mind. Yeah. Yep, that's still I was. You know the way, that's handy because I don't have a clue. And let's see. You've got four tons for them, now they're amazing, but to be honest, I don't really want, I don't have the money to just spend on that. So let's get a couple of sea guards. In fact, how long will it take to build the sea guards with shields? Three tons, so no, I don't need that. Then two tons will be out, so a couple of sea guard, two spearmen, three spearmen, and a unit of archers with armor is what I'm going for. Yep. Um, let's get upgraded, get public order going. Chamber of Visions. Oh, you can get even more things to help me earn money. Uh, as you can do for public order. Public order here is even. Provincial instability is going down even better. You're doing that, you're doing that. Now my wee woman down the bottom. Yeah. There's, oh, there's one there. And you can take attrition all you want. Oh, it's her army that gets all these things. Right. Ah, whereas I thought it was all armies. Repentishment rate and Strider. Now, so she gets it all. Mm-hmm. Alright, that doesn't uh, help me too much. I suppose if I get money from it, then it does. And these are the dwarves, aren't they? And yep, you're gonna rebel soon actually. Two tons. You're what? Four tons? I might just. Two tons, then the time I march down, yep. And then this army can join me so they'll go and deal with the rebellion. Maybe leave rebellion a couple of tons till it gets bigger. As well. Gives me some more, um Oh, what do you mean call it? What was I gonna say there? Yeah, it gives me more public order back, which is perfect. Clan Pestilence are pretty strong, actually. Deliver your terms and I shall consider them. Trusted friends. Ooh, best friends. I'm strength rank 3. And I'm sure that it was shown that Nagarond it could, like, probably just absolutely destroy me. The good thing is, nobody near me can absolutely destroy me. They New order are about the best round about me. Thagan's Errantry versus Lan Rapek. And here, oh, Shade Engineer. Perfect. And let's research. Military Advancements 3. Yeah, see if I just march. You say so. my 
I'll march here while I see an army. No, but Tlanxlaw has got cold ones, community skanks, sorry, sorry, and a sorry sky veteran. To be honest, I actually should get a noble in view. So he should. Um, because the noble would be good against lords. So £2,000. Don't really need anything there. Chamber of Visions, let's get this for some more public. Oh, I've got already got a promenade. So what else do I get? I'll get this income from the building is thirty percent. Why not? And over here that'll do fine. So we're getting oh we went down in money. Ah oh, we're recruiting troops, that's why I never mind. I was getting worried there. Now it looks like Nagron they're actually pretty good, like pretty far ahead of me. Most of the sea Oh, I thought I didn't think she would reach this done. There's an two and a half thousand pound. I should actually count up how much she's got me. She's probably got me ten thousand already. And just in case she's heard the pen and paper, I do take notes with me usually while I'm doing battles. Eh, not doing battles, playing the game. I do usually take notes while I'm waiting on battles, but I just take a quick one there before I forget. It's in the Southern Sentinels, they'll get destroyed by me when I march down. But I'm definitely going for these guys here. Rituals at minus 40 for all the Lizardman tribes. Wow. I might find some Skaven. So, military advancement, Central Spine of Zoe. Yep, yeah, that's down here. And um, Razor Sack, a settlement with Noska, but. To be honest, I don't know even where to look for Norskins and jigging up a level. I don't think he's about trading now, 7,000. Now declare war. Who does land epic? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's see, is it worth fighting even with this Sky Veteran? No. Yep, pretty easy battle. In fact, they never, they never even get one kill. And we'll occupy it since it's a nice new place for us. And that's getting us some stuff there. Nice. So that is up in our level 24. Wow, we're doing so good here. Uh, do -do -do -do. Let's start upgrading here. Stand your ground as well will be good. Melee defence and leadership. What do you require? Not possible, I'm afraid. Alright, oh, because he's got the maximum units. I'd take away that unit of archers probably. I'd try to keep archers with light armour. And I've got a lot of archers anyway. So yep, you've moved this turn. Yep, and if we come down here, where's our wee pal in the boat? On the boat, if you go there. Now we've got 12,000. So, what do we do? Get this for our military advancements 4. I think we will actually. Nope. Um, what do we want here? Probably some more. Income in trading. I think the Temple of Kara, that's Blue Vipers. Up here, oh, that's Land Hypex. So perfectly, they're next to each other. Somebody's went up. Oh, the Princess. Right, that's that public order, Ambush Defense. Upkeep, Replenishment, Research Rate Faction Wide. Yep, I think that's what you can just kind of go towards. I'm not, oh, call it great herd, speed, I don't really need the speed. Armour and range for the bolt throws, yep. 
Arcane Studies, don't need that. Dragon Prince's Silverhelm, Sword Masters, plus 10 armor. I don't need the experience, speed. Now, uh, yep, I think I'll go for the armor. Cultural Advancements, it's gonna get built. Yeah, it's gonna get done soon. And Chuckle Ball, yep, you're gonna revolt. Perfect, let's just tax the province. Just make sure you revolt good. Good and proper. And now the rebellion. My army's here to kick the I was gonna say kick the scaven butts, kick the rat butt, just it's not got the same kinda it's not got real kinda tune to it, has it? Eh uh, I don't know. Eh uh, boom Trying to think, Flatsland, oh or should I move to see if they just not out there to see if they were gonna come for me. Opposing virtual failed. Oh yeah, somebody stopped them. Nice. I know they were behind it anyway, but I wonder what happens. That again. I don't know. And another achievement unlocked. I'm unlocking a lot of achievements and I don't even know what I'm doing to unlock them, so to speak. So, Winds of Power, Steel Technology, Cleanse Corruption, Specialist, The Wound, Mag I don't really need magical items as such. But let's get... Let let's get the magical items. Why not? And you will just do that so you can go up. Oh, you can go up. Pillars of Unseen con What was I going to do there for you? Haha! Means we'll get that there. Um, a snowball, I was going to get rid of this unit of archers. And put this noble in there. I am a fount of knowledge. My infinite knowledge is yours. To be honest, I'd probably be better marching. Marching? Very well. Yep. Um, yep, you've not marched, that's fine. Is that all? Oh, build, settlement upgrade. Perfect. And then end it on. So it's really helping us out. I'm not actually saving anything because we were needing money so badly to upgrade everything. So we're just upgrading everything bit by bit really. And yep, I was gonna say she's probably reached there and there's one up here that you can go to. She's gained another rank. After that I might just send her up in the seas to explore. I really don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Pestilence scheme, clan malls. Uh, spend a plague, a deadly plague. I wonder what the plague does. I know it will obviously take public order down, but will it destroy some of the uh, garrison? And oh, he tried to assassinate Harand. Oh, no, 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 you don't assassinate my guys. Special Harand, I like him. Level 13. I can't have you assassinating him. How dare they? So we're just under, what's that, about 6 16 minutes in the recording. Oh, right. Influence minus 5. Melee defense. Magic charge and melee defense. Favor Illyrian or favor Kaladar. Oh, to be honest, I'll favor Kothik. Don't need that, we'll get this for more money. No money, more money, more money. And. Oh, I was hoping that would be a big battle, to be honest. It's character replenishment rate plus 8%. Is that no matter who you are with the hero? Yeah, I thought you would run away. 
But right, let's see, Twaxlin. They've got a good garrison. Uh, Master of the White Tower. It says it'll be just done, but I think I might. Oh, there's no point in marching. And assign skill points to the princess here. Perfect, that gets me on to without having to go and find exactly where about she is. And up here you go, hen. Blood all you have checked you out and down here the promenades. Nah. Let's start building up for the dragons. Oh, so there's lots of different things that I unlock military advancements for. Right, okay. It's pretty handy actually to know that. So, I don't know where to get the defences or not. I get four white lines and three lords on Seaguard. To be honest, it would take a good army to get by this anyway. It would take at least a full stack. And if I do this, I don't get, I just get the recruitment of the Phoenix Guard, but they're so good. They're the masters of Assyrian. Eh, master prowess instead of martial prowess I've got. So Skaven here, I've not built up much to be honest. And end the turn. Oh, there's a wee army at the side. The Lizardmen, that's not the army up. And Nagarond, if you notice there, we're getting more... They're still, oh, they're still more powerful than us, it's saying, but we're getting closer. But I need to see what these guys are doing. They're pretty close to Quetaxel, which might fall. But if it does, I'll just destroy the Skaven next turn and march up. Oh, oh they've got Carnosaurs. Three of them and Su Sukwala. Um, let's see what's the speed 90 75. Yep, I'm going to fight this one because I think I might be able to try and defend it if I can get them to rampage. That'd be good. Anti large, I could be doing with um, my, my infantry hold. I think I'll be able to kill him as well. My sales this is only 50%. Yep, so I'll see you on the battle map. We are guys, now let's get this formation going. Oh, it's low on sea guard with shields. So spearmen. Out front. Archers in the middle. Sea guard here. Here. And to be honest, I'm going to put a sea guard right there. Eagle up high in the sky. Silver helms hidden. And these weavers will put them there hidden to start the battle. They'll come straight for us. Now medium threat. Now he's sending that one to me. Has got missile resistance. Now they've been sore, so if I bring them back, they'll come closer to me and I'll be able to shoot them. They are on skirmish, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm doing little damage, but just make them run around. I was going to say make them run around, but it seems to be nearly catching us. These guys charge in. They are doing good damage, but just look at them go. Silver Helms, in fact. If you just go there, they're starting to rampage. Perfect. So we're actually dealing with them pretty decent. Um, and these are running away from him, keeping him busy, good. I prefer them to kinda like, run in that direction though. The missiles fired at well, but got off a skirmish. So 
so yep. Uh, I need to kill these karma souls. Let's be a minute attack there. Yeah, the archers, these are doing fine. Who's fleeing? My beavers, are, that's okay. Eagle, you're gonna attack these skinks. New silver helms, chase him off the map. These spearmen, uh, you just come over and fight here. Uh, I don't want you to get stuck in combat with them. I prefer you to get back and we'll let the arrows, because I mean, look, then he's just gobbled him up. I'll wait with slow motion just to see. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, oh he just headbutted him. Is he dead? Oh, he just stood. Oh no, he's alive. But. Yeah, he's you know, and he's going in, headbutting them all. And there's a mouth open. It's look at the sea guard, brave. Ah, there's a big wipe there on them. Brave of what I would be, but look at their spears, stabbing them to and fro. And he's actually broken. Now see this guy, he's surrounded, and the leader's doing not bad. He's Seaguard, no point in chasing him. Let's go and see the Soros Old Blood, we've not saw them yet, I don't think. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so. So this Carnal Souls thinking about rampaging. That one's routing. Now it says we have victory. But um, I'll speed it up, but I'm wanting to try and kill the Carnosaurs. This eagle, will it reach him in time? I don't think it will. And this saw this old blood, yep, he'll die. So to be honest, actually, we done a lot better than what I thought. The carnosaurs were good. But it's just the same as everything else. I mean, let's see what they got kills. 29, 9 and 28. They're good, but without any backup. Even if they'd won unit of Saurus warriors to back the carnosaurs up, then that would have been 10 times better for them. But... Without any backup at all, plus I do feel the Saurus Old Blood should have charged in with the Carnosaurs. Um, but yeah, without any backup, it's pretty pretty dire. I was getting some experience there. Don't know why. why. But great. The Sea Guard are also good spearmen. When you're mixing them in together, the of archers you've got. And I think they're just normal archers. Yep, it's perfect. So let's force labour. And you can come back as fight as if he wants with that army. Yep, I thought he'd march away. So that's a Kalmasaur's dead. Eh, sorry, not dead. That's basically the them seen to. So that's how fought some dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. There'll be so many things about Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, it's unreal probably by now. Um, leadership minus 6, not we can all the power games and come from trade, nice. I could do that. Income from trade, assassinate failures, so try to assassinate me again. Now you can just go and attack the Skaven here. Are you immune to psychology, give it to the white lines. I, think, I don't know whether they're immune anyway. Maybe we'll just say no they're not, just with the banner. But for all they've got. Yep, lost 49. And he's running perfectly, he's actually running the way I want him to run. So, level 10. And let's see, dedicated to Hoth. Public Order, Winds of Magic, Armour. 
Casualty replant from go with Isha. There is not one that is better than the other, it does just depend on what your army is, to be honest. A lot of people there's no point in doing the force labor, let's execute them. And Crown of Command, nice. A lot of people will do the one with likes of the Phoenix Guard. But personally for me and well with her, it uses a spearman. Tremble before me. So I really can't attack any of them. So we'll end the turn and we'll maybe destroy it. Oh, next turn anyway. Because with the bolt throws and with the Phoenix, we can just destroy the gates. We're at 15,000. I should maybe have upgraded a few. Like, um, built a few things. Lothern are pretty powerful now as well. They're alright. Nagarond are still overpowering us. I think they're the only ones that are really overpowered. Maybe Lothern, Lothern, but I'm not sure. So we're doing. I'm really proud. Albeit, I uh, forget the pun. I don't. I always say I'm always proud, but oh, people usually say to me, "I'm proud." P. I, I literally don't mean it, but I'm. Right, right. Let's see. That's and they've got quite a big air. In fact, it's only two cities. Um, trade agreement dissolved. With Nag Nagarith. Oh. I want to find out why. Maybe they've lost a city somewhere. That'll be how my money's gone down. And my trade's only at 8,000 now. Nagarith, why? Your request? Nah, I've lost trade. Uh -huh. um, things with them. Look Bow before the rightful lord. No. Right. Of the white so let's go and destroy this town. The gods have spoken. Even though they do have some good units here. That's an easy one. As I expected. Yep. And uh, we'll just occupy. There's no point in looking to occupy. We've got enough money. And perfect. Let's get this built. Let's delete the cavalry building because I will build the, the garrison building to defend that because that will be help really good with the ritual resource site. And over here, another point. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I was going to do that. Right, so that's weapon strength for them. Missile damage for the archers, I think, is probably best because they're pretty much all level 7, but the swordmasters is only one of them. So I do think that's better for me in this current state. Um, where's this army? You're here. Yep, you march up there. And oh, right over here. Build. Build. Don't really need that. Yeah, it says was there. Let's build that just to start protecting you. Build that just so people will stop. Yeah, so it'll stop saying that we need to build something. Uh, why not? This is a stage when I start to get too much money to know what to do with it. She's fortunate. Oh, perfect. Over here, oh, level 5, even better. And growth plus 10, why is that? I thought that, that doesn't affect the growth, so other reasons, so what could the reasons be? So, ah, the province effects. Ah, right, okay. Right, I've got, there's 85. Growth 15, recruitment tax rate plus 15%. Ah, that's great. Um, high mage here. You can be scouting, yep. You've got, oh, it's a... Let's get some gold mine, but oh my, look at that. That's that's scary how good their defences are there. They're maybe not the strongest faction, but with the defences I've got, I would rather not fight them for a wee while. 
Techless and that army would probably need to destroy that. Which can be arranged because I'm nearly up the top here. I'll probably just send my armies up the top there and come down and kind of swoop. Maybe see about confederating with that high elf, the citadels of dusk. Or maybe ask if they'd do that with me. Yeah, it would be good to have an army there to kind of come across with. I think I will do that, that'd be handy. Yep, yeah, there's still lots of factions alive, even though I've destroyed a couple. Literally two. Um, diplomacy. Uh, where is the fortress of Citadel of Dusk? I will receive your petition in the name of the Phoenix Unwise. Right, they've rejected it, so if I do that and offer them some payments. Yep, six thousand pounds, that's all it cost me. Now technically because I've got an extra army. Yep, it does come down. Or two armies. So you can go and start taking there. And you do, do, do. And you and your army can start marching up here. So Citadel of Dusk. Another two buildings and a port. Cause the Fortress of Dawn. Is there too, with lots of mysterious islands and things round about. So let's see, does it still hurt you with everyone else? Confederations, yep it does. So you can go there, you can... In fact you can go to Triple Auto. Let's march. Sentinels, the Southern Sentinels. So yep, so we're confederated with them and that's an army coming from there. This army, if you want to go to Quitax and see what's happening here, I think they're both going to kind of team up in Tlangsla. But Tlax land is there, fine. And Titlis. If you want to go up here. Maybe March would be better. I'm going to go to this temple here. And we'll end the turn. Oh, and we've just noticed we're nearly at 40 minutes for this recording. The narrative, oh right, perform better than campaign, may as well, it's only you. You can go back around down to the bottom actually and fight them all. It's good that it shows you exactly what happened, the powers of precise and power of rage. So that is only affect your army that it does it with, so I'd probably always go with campaign. If you've got a normal army and it's just right next to you, go for maybe the battle, it would help. Um, but... Boost income, I should maybe get somebody to boost income in my hometown. So I'll attack this land with Peck and I'll get whatever my princess is called, Astic or something like that, Astapic. I will destroy the Temple of Kara at some point soon just to get them away from me. So yep, they're pretty close to that one actually. I don't like how close they are. I may as well go to that island. And then order to go back. So we'll see. Um, Shiny boots and fresh recruits. 25% movement range, perfect. There we go, all these guys down here. May as well treasure hunt. Oh, Skaven revealed. I didn't think about Skaven actually. Um, 
poison one globe deals. Ferric victory, I was going to say. So we have the great was Where is the globe deals? I should have done that just to see what they were like. I think it's like a mortar. Um, so what? Loot and occupy really for sixty percent. Um, oh, local recruit. Oh, I can local recruit. Perfect. The city is crumbling. Your instructions. Three and three. And if you maybe just want to walk. I will do my duty. Because that will probably be their capital. Or at least that's what I'm going to go with. Over here. On my way. You march up. Over here you go into normal. Attack so. Temple of Tlenken. Uh, no point fighting that Steady one. So we're doing good. Just occupy it. Twelve or twenty-six now. Uh, do, do, do. They're pretty good. That's sorry, right, but it's really just for mages. I know it has all characters, but let's um. Dragon Phoenixes, Dragon Princes and Phoenix Guard, Immovable Force, Immovable Force. Oh, and the Nobles went up a level for that battle. Full Seeker, perfect. So after that you shall go and attack Chotek. And they've got quite a lot of land actually. So the Caverns of Melixa, let's just do that. Blood Hall, perfect, you shall went up. Um, let's get this to get some more ports. You go there. The are if I upgrade you to get the phoenixes, perfect. And that's about it. Yep. Um, trade agreements went down. Oh, it's actually up there. It's just all my armies. That's the problem. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching. This was part eight, and that was a good part. Um, we've obtained some lizards. We've taken, what, three cities from the Lizardmen. We've found more Skaven. Everybody loves to find Skaven. Um, I'm presuming there'll be more Skaven at Kikes. Maybe even at Disgate. I might need to go and check them. Um, Citadels of Dusk we have under our control now. And... To be honest, I don't really need the Sea Garden that there. I should maybe go for something for public order. It gets you plus five, yeah, that'll do fine. Uh, so yeah, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, do smash the bell button. You don't want to miss the next episode. We will find out what is that Chipayotl. We will build up another army down here in Zlansek. We will probably fight and destroy these Karnasaurs. And maybe Tokchik. Um, Teclis is just murdering everybody pretty much as his army gets more experienced. And yep, I might even. I was going to say I might start another army, but I don't need to because I've got a third and a fourth one down here. So thank you very much for watching once more. Proud Pete out. And it's too delayed, isn't it?